Residents of a Pinellas County 55 and up community are asking the question, are they safe from the coronavirus? This after learning that a man infected with the virus actually visited their community's main office. That community is in the mainlands. This is just off of US 19 in Pinellas Park. Our Pinellas Bureau reporter Chip Osowski joining us live from the mainlands office. All right, Chip, the warning signs are already up there. So what's going on? Yeah, absolutely, Keith and Jen. These are the administrative offices for the main lads at the Gulf. Uh, the community itself is about two blocks from here. This is an exterior door. Behind this door is an interior door with a sign that says that this office has been exposed to the coronavirus and enter at your own risk. I mean, we, we take precautions every winter when we're exposed to flu. I mean, this is no different. Margie and A.T. Herring are loading up their minivan with donations after their garage sale. Proud residents of the mainlands, a 55 and up community filled with neatly kept homes and American flags flying. The last thing on their mind is the coronavirus. Y'all don't worry about it. We get it, we get it. And then we do something about it, but we don't worry about it. Just don't, we go about our own business, don't cut out nothing. In fact, AT visited this very office the day before these signs showed up. We we're waiting for the CDC or the Florida Department of Health to tell us what to do exactly. Ken Krywanek is the president of the Mainland's Homeowners Association. He tells Eight on Your Side a man who didn't know he was infected visited the office on Friday. We just found out this morning he tested positive. When we found that out, we basically decided to put signs up on the door notifying people that, yes, this area had been exposed. Maggie believes the association should have informed residents. I don't fault them for it, but that would cover them, you know, and that would eliminate criticism. And the association president tells me the reason they didn't alert all of the residents is they didn't want to create widespread panic. Since this all occurred, they have sterilized the office and are now, as you heard, waiting for direction from the CDC and the Department of Health. Reporting live in Pinellas Park, I'm Chip Osowski, 8 on your side.